let's get real. There's a lot of rehab that's needed postpartum. For me personally, that meant a lot of pelvic floor rehabilitation and diastasis recti exercises. So today, I'm going to show you some of my homework that I had to do, and hopefully that's helpful to you as well. So today we are kegeling and we are rehabbing diastasis recti. The one piece of equipment you'll need actually two, need a mat, because we're gonna lay down, and also, you'll need like a long scarf or a towel, but you want something that has no give to it. So, I mean like, not stretchy, no give. So for me, that was like a pashmina, a scarf, um, a towel is good, but not a resistance band. You don't want something that's stretchy, so something that's very firm. We're gonna get to this, so just place that to the side. We're gonna start today, that's right, with your kegeling. No one loves kegeling, by the way. It's so boring, I hate it. That's why we're doing it together. Because I'm gonna make sure you do it and I do it. This is how I get my homework in as well. You're gonna go ahead, lay it on back, people. You're just gonna follow my words. Now, I know you know how to Kegel. I'm not gonna tell you how, but we're gonna do this together, right? So the first one we're gonna do is 15 pretty quick Kegels. Very, very light kind of first layer of that muscle, if you will. So 15 Kegels right here. We're going to 15, 14, 13, 14. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Relax. I know you like my little pinchers here, but that's just kind of cueing you of what you should be feeling with your Kegels. Second round, right here. Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, that takes a lot of concentration. If you need to breathe out when you're kegeling, sometimes that helps. Here we go, last and final round here, 15, we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now don't get too cocky. Those were the easy ones. We're gonna go to the harder ones. These are much, much harder in my opinion. We're gonna do a five second hold, then a 10 second hold. So I want you to think of pulling in, not only in though, I want you to think in and up. So really kind of exhaling, pulling your transverse abs down at the same time you're kegeling so that we're connecting those two ends together, the transverse and the kegel, right? Okay, we're going on to our five second hold. Now I really want you to dig deep. I want you to think pull in, but also pull up. Think about your transverse abs pulling down. You can breathe out while you do this. Sometimes it helps. But we're gonna hold for five whole seconds. So, really pulling through all those layers, connecting it together. Here we go. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one one, release. Five, four, three, two, 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 one. Last one here. Five, four, three, two, one, release. I did forget to tell you, we're doing 10 of those. So 10 reps, that should have felt harder. Now, don't squeeze one side without feeling the other. Don't just Kegel and don't just suction your abs down. I need you to connect your transverse abs to your Kegel movement. So as you're pulling up and in on your Kegel, pull down and in on your transverse abs. It is tricky to do, but you wanna feel that simultaneous movement of both ends going together. This is our second round, five second holds. We go five, four, three, two, one, release. 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 Five, four, three, two, one, halfway. Five, four, 
Three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, two more. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Breathe, it takes a lot of concentration and a lot of determination to really do these correctly. And if you're feeling like it's getting weaker towards the end and you can't hold on to it, release it and try it again on that next one. All right, we're doing one more set of 10 for a five second hold. We go, five, four, three, two, one, release. 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 Five, four, three, two, one, halfway. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, release. Five, four, three, two, one, last one. Five, four, three, two, one, release it. All right, 10 second holds. These are much harder, gonna feel a little bit weaker here, but let's try it anyway. All right, 10 second hold, let's get it in. At least one round of these 10 second holds. All right, here we go. Squeezing here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, halfway. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Last two, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release it. Nice job, guys. Go ahead, bring yourself over to the side, push yourself up. Remember, if you're experiencing diastasis, that's the way to get up, not putting pressure on that wall. Go ahead, grab your scarf, bring it under you. These ones are really fun. Now, these ones are for separation of the abs, diastasis recti. You're gonna bring that scarf under your body, bring yourself down. Now, roll your pants down. I want you to find your belly button. That's really important. So you're lining up that scarf with your belly button. Go ahead, cross it over. Now, I hate doing these ones too, but they really do work. You wanna make sure that that scarf or towel is crossing over right at your navel. Not above, not below, but right at. Now, holding it with the thumbs facing up, you wanna have a really tight grip. You're gonna have to pull this a little harder than you think. Especially in the beginning, this should feel a little uncomfortable. The more you progress into your postpartum months, the easier this will feel. So here's what it's gonna be. We're gonna exhale. Exhale first, pulling the belly button down. Then pull the arms, then crunch up. So it's three parts. So it's exhale, pull your belly button down, then pull, then crunch up. So three distinct movements. Let's try it. Right here, you're gonna start pressing that spine down, sinking that belly button down. Sink it down, pull, crunch, release. Sink it down, pull, crunch, release. 
sink it down, pull, crunch, release. Sink it down, pull, crunch, release. Sink that belly button down, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, inhale it down. You're gonna exhale, pull the belly button down, pull, crunch, release. Five more, we're gonna do exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, last one. Exhale, pull, crunch, and release. So the whole point of this exercise is to pull those abdominal walls back towards each other with some force. This is why we're using this scarf. Remember, on that first movement, you're pressing your spine into the floor, exhaling, that belly button sinks downward. Then you pull, then you crunch up. Remember on that crunch, chin is away from that chest. Second round, here we go. Right here, we go exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, halfway there. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Last two, exhale, pull, crunch, Last one, exhale, pull, crunch, and release. Okay, shake it off, relax that neck. Last round, here we go. Exhale, pull, crunch, release it down. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, halfway there. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, release. Exhale, pull, crunch, last two right here, make it strong. Exhale, pull, crunch, release, last one. Exhale, pull, crunch and release go ahead take that scarf off push up remember turning to your side then push okay now i know this isn't fun definitely not as fun as a dance body workout but it's necessary this homework is really important in terms of re-strengthening that pelvic floor before you jump and for bringing those abs back together which you're definitely going to need before any strenuous activity again you should be doing this as many days as you can this comes first very important I'm telling that to myself at the same time because I know I hate doing these ones too, but we're all doing it together. It's all about the rehab, baby. Better do it now than years down the line, so you want to get ahead of that. All right, I hope you did well. See you tomorrow.